G'day and welcome to this video on the Microsoft updates for September on Google Workspace. In this video, we're going to be looking at the updates that have landed inside Gemini. So Gemini is becoming a very cool personal assistant that you can even customize now inside the Google Workspace. So I'm in gemini.google.com. And what we're going to do is look at some of the things that have been added in here. Now, I'm going to show you two. One's got to do with the way in which we can upload files. And the other way one is how we can actually customize a persona so you can have your own personalized assistant inside Gemini. So let's jump into the first demo. So inside your Gemini account, you'll see that down in the bottom right hand side here of your menu bar, you've now got a plus button. This plus button enables you to upload some files. So if you click on it, it opens up these options. Now you'll notice that you can upload from your computer. You can actually bring an image in it and get Gemini to analyze that, or you can grab something from your drive. Now I want to grab something from my drive because I've already got something there and I want it to analyze that document for me. So I'm just going to come into my add for my files. I'm going to come back to recent in here and I'm going to come and grab this document in there and insert it. Now what this will do is it'll drop it into Gemini for me. Now all I want to do is get it to analyze that document. Now what this is now doing is actually reading through that document and then breaking it down and giving you some analysis on it. Now this will save you a bundle of time when you've got those large things that you need to read and you want to be able to process them and summarize them really quickly. So that's done that relatively quickly in my document straight inside Gemini.google.com. Now let's have a look at what else we can do from this space. Now once we've got it here, we can come scrolling down to here and we can come and copy it if we need to and put it into a doc where we can summarize it even further or we can just copy it straight from here and drop it straight into any other kind of space that we want it to be in. You'll also notice that here we also have a microphone. So we can actually just talk straight into to Gemini and Gemini will give us a response from there. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you. A really nice way of being able to manage the way in which we can bring a file into Gemini and get it to analyze it for me. I can also add two files there and get it to compare the two if I wish to as well. Just remember the bigger the files, the slower it will take to get back to you. But that's actually very quick if you think about how much time you would have spent in this space. Now the next thing I want to show you is gems. Now gems have landed inside your Google Workspace account and you might need to have the pro account or the advanced account to get this. Alrighty. So let's have a look at the second thing inside Google Workspace as an update in September. Now it's got to do with gems inside Gemini. Now, when you think of a gem, it's more like a personalized kind of personal assistant, a personalized personal assistant to be able to respond on your behalf inside Gemini or to be able to analyze and write things on your behalf inside Gemini. Now, if you've ever had to write a prompt before, you normally have to give it some context. So what your role is, how you want it to be responded, how you want that to actual output to look like, you might give some certain parameters about that as well. But inside gems, we can actually build that into one gem. So we only have to use that persona over and over again without having to retype that big long prompt. So it can actually answer in the way that we need it to be answered. So let's have a look at what these gems look like and see how we can write our own. So down the bottom left hand side of your screen, you'll see that you've got your gems and then your gem manager. So let's just jump into the gem manager here to have a look at what's already sitting here for us. So inside here, Google's already written us some gems that we can use. Now, if you want to see the structure of how they've written them, you can come to this make a copy. It will pop it out for you and you'll be able to see that there's these kind of subheadings in here that need to be used when you're writing a gem. Now, don't be too worried if you think, oh my goodness, how am I going to write that out? Because Gemini will actually help you write your prompts for you inside a gem, which is pretty cool. So let's jump out of here. And what we're going to do is just come back to here. It's going to ask me whether I want to save and I don't want to save that. That's OK. But one thing we need to check before we go any further is to come down to these settings inside here and click on these extensions. And what this allows us to do is it allows us to access some of the applications or extensions inside Google Workspace. And we would really like this to have access to our mail and our docs because we're going to be playing in that space. Now, if you haven't got access to this, you'll need to contact your um, manager or your, your administrator to be able to give you um, access to them as well. It's just a button they've got to turn on. So let's jump out of here because I know it's working and come into my gem manager. And I'm going to come and create a new gem. Now I'm going to call this delete. 
so that I get rid of this at the end of today. Now, when you're writing a gem, you need to think of the problem that you're trying to solve or the persona that you're taking on. So for me, it's answering emails. I've got a lot of emails I've got to answer. It just takes me a bit of time. And I'm a bit tired of typing in, I'm a product manager, I need you to be able to respond in this way. So I want to build out a persona that aligns with me so my emails can be responded to in that manner. And I'm going to use a gem for that. So let me show you how that works. First thing we need to do is write a bit of a prompt inside here. So let me just pop in a prompt here. Uh, as a product manager, they help me reply to emails in a friendly, positive manner and a positive tone. And then what we want to do is go at mention and that's going to pull in for us our Gmail link. Now, what we want to do is come down to the use Gemini to rewrite these instructions, get it to help build this out for me and get that to write it. Now, what I've noticed is sometimes you need to do it a couple of times because it doesn't quite structure it properly. But I've got one that I've prepared earlier that we can jump into and have a look. So let's have a look at this response and I'll show you what I'm looking for. It's got the overall tone, which is good. The features, that looks good. Let's have a scroll through. It's looking pretty good for me. Looking pretty good. But you'll notice as I get through here, there is no at mention to my Google Docs, or my, my Gmail, sorry. So we need to have that at mention sitting inside here. So let's jump out of here. And I'll, jump, I'll jump into one that I've already created earlier. It's called Email Response 101. And I'm going to come into here, and I'm going to edit this by coming into the Edit button. Now, it'll open up here. You'll see that I've still got the same kind of things before. And I come rolling down, and it's all looking pretty cool for me. And the magic thing in here that makes it work for me is the integration with Gmail. So that's got to be inside my prompting in here to make it work well. So I'm going to jump out of that. And I'm going to use this one now to kind of answer my emails. So I'm going to say, what is the most most recent email? I'm just going to go at Gmail here. So now it knows it's going to tap into that application. And it's going to look for my most recent email in here. And let's have a look what this brings in. There should be one from Mitchell, because he would have emailed me today about something. And it's going to grab that email and tell me the most recent one that's there. Now, sometimes it takes a bit of time to grab the emails from there, because it's got to read through, work out what's going on. But it's going to tell me the most recent one. And here we go. It's from, from Mitchell here. So now I'd love it to get it to respond for me on my behalf. Now remember, we've written that persona into, into the code and it knows who I am and it's going to respond in that way. And now it uses that persona to reply to that email. Look at that. It's got that kind of stuff written for me, all ready to go. Now I need to check that to make sure it's right and then I can actually add it into an email for me. Because it's grabbed that persona for me already and put those restrictions that I've already built in there, it narrows down or makes my workflows so much quicker. There's so many more things we can do inside that gem space, but just have a bit of a think about where you would be able to use this to save time. I think this is pretty phenomenal and it's going to be a game changer in our space.